of all the flights I've ever been on, and you guys know how much I love to travel. I mean, we're talking about hundreds of flights, right? It's the only thing I ever really wanted to do. I actually have never, ever, ever once seen anybody use that puke bag on a flight. Not once. Have you guys? I don't think I have. No. I mean, I think I, they put it back there back in the day, which seemed like a good idea. And the I'm, vomit pouch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. um, the only thing I would really use it for is like when I'm chewing gum and yeah. I don't have anywhere to put it and I might rip a little off and put it in there, but never seen anybody puke in there. So I'm only mentioning this because Mo got sick on a plane last week. It was me. I was the guy and I've never seen anyone use it either. And I, I certainly never thought I would be the guy who needed to use it. And I didn't even know planes still had them, but oh, thank yeah. God they do. So I don't know if you guys know this about me. I, I may have mentioned it before, but I have somewhat of a history of just passing out randomly. I don't know why. What? Yeah, you've told us yeah, that. Yeah, I, I think, think I have before. Like, I, I'm sure it has something to do with my heart, but it's never truly been like told me. Like, I don't have the reasoning. I, I passed out in church once, and all of the churchgoers were like, oh, that's the devil on your chest. Baby. So <laughs> I, I just ran with that. Like, I guess that's that's what it is. But it's happened to or me. Or a heart condition. Or, or, or that, right? But, before we even get into the bag, where are the other places that you've just passed out like that fainting goat? I've passed out on a stage before. Um, there was a rapper named Cassidy asked me to come on stage and do a song with him. I passed out in the middle of the song and ended up having to be carried off of the stage at a concert. Ooh. I passed out on vacation before, just in the room, randomly, just looked at the bed. And next thing I know, I woke up on it. Don't remember what happened in between. I passed out a few places. That's Those are the ones that come to the top of my L college basketball game. I was a spectator, just watching the game, passed out. And I always have... Probably five seconds of knowing it's about to happen. Uh -huh. So normally I'm with someone, which luckily I've never been alone. And I always look at them and go, if sometimes they don't even know, like they don't have, they don't know my history in this, but I'll look at them and go, listen, I'm going to pass out in about five seconds. Just hold on to me and make sure I don't hit my head. I'll be right back. That I, is literally how it goes. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Like, BRB. Yeah, don't panic. <laughs> Save my place. <laughs> exactly. I have never been happier that you don't drive a car now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. So uh, I, it's, it hasn't happened to me in years. It's been a while. So it's not even like top of mind for me anymore. And here we go. I get on this flight. And I was tired, but it wasn't like that bad. Anything that I felt like I needed to worry about. And I'm getting on a flight, coming back from celebrating my dad's birthday. Don't feel any kind of sick. I feel fine. Don't think nothing is wrong with me. We get on the flight. And for some reason, I started to feel this, uh, like this really full feeling in my stomach. And I hadn't ate. I wasn't drinking that day. So I wasn't sure where this was coming from. But I certainly felt like something's not right. And luckily, I'm in like uh, the road as, as a two seater, and it's just me and my lady. So I'm, it's just us. Oh, you're she's, with your lady. Yeah, I made it mm. worse. <laughs> oh, you're with your lady. <laughs> so that's going to make the story funny in a second because I had a decision to make, right? Well, well women say that they love to see a guy vulnerable. So <laughs> you passing out and lifeless might have been a real turn on. <laughs> I don't think there's a bigger ick than being with your man and, like, you know, if, if, if you got to use the vomit bag on a plane. It's not sexy. No. It's, it's, it's not giving sexy. And so when I felt this feeling coming, that was the decision I had to make because I felt like it would have been helpful if she knew I was going through this. But she was sleeping and she had not got a lot of sleep. So I, I said, I think I'm going to throw up like I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then as soon as I got that thought, mm. it was too late. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. You like, start getting that extra saliva yes. in your mouth. I'm like, oh, it's oh. here. Like we're, we're yes. here. out of nowhere. So now I start digging for the bag because I don't think I'm going to make it to the bathroom. And now more anxiety takes over when you feel that happening too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I should wake her up. Nah, she doesn't need to see this. No, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, let, me, let me handle this on my own. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, I don't even want to know that this is happening. <laughs> I'd, rather hurt, I'd rather die than have her see this. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> There's only one thing worse than throwing up, and that's having to throw up in public mm, in front right. of other people. Because you got somebody literally a foot away yeah. from you, because I'm, I'm assuming you're in an aisle seat. Right, yep. And so you got somebody a foot away from you that's about to see you vomit into a bag. Well, mm -hmm. you're thinking about, I mean, it's not only bad for the person next to you, but I can't, there are very few places that are worse than that to throw up because that smell is trapped in that plane, mm. man. So if you've ever been on a flight with a kid that's thrown up or something like that and it happened in 7B, you can smell it in 27C. Tell me about <laughs> it. Yes. So I, I, grab, I go and I shuffle to find the bag and 
Then I go into a panic because my seat didn't have one. <gasps> oh, no. So thank God okay. something told me check hers before you try to make it to the bathroom. And I did. And her seat did have one. So I pull the bag out. And I'm talking like just in time because you got to like unfold it a little bit and pop it open. Yep. And as soon as I pop it open, it all it just comes out <gasps> like it's, it's going down. You really did vomit, <laughs> oh, I, right? Oh, I, oh, did I? Oh, uh, yeah. I probably got the record for for, for amount of vomit on a plane. <laughs> so what do you do? You just put it up to your lips like uh, like you're almost like breathing into a bag when you're hyperventilating. Exactly so that. Nothing gets out of there. And then I I remember I vomited, but then it got real because I had the feeling of I'm about to pass out. <gasps> And it all happened simultaneously. Damn. So I vomit in the bag. You can't pass out while you're holding the vomit bag. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> you don't really have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt, I, I said, I'm about to pass out. And by the time I can feel it, it's, it's here. Like, it's, it's nothing I can do. And all I can really remember is holding the bag, like, as tight as I could. Because it's all in the bag. Yeah. Like, if I all I had to do was go to the bathroom with the bag, flush the bag, yeah. nobody will ever know this happened in my life. Like, I planned on telling no one. But I pass out with with it in my hand. And when I wake up, <gasps> no. I don't know if y'all ever saw how like Mike Tyson was trying to find his mouthpiece after he got knocked out, but <laughs> yeah. he couldn't find it because he yes. wasn't all. That's me trying to find the vomit bag. <laughs> I no longer know where the vomit bag is. I'm trying, but I'm, I'm still out of it. So I can't come to my senses to just grab it. But I'm fighting. I'm like fighting for my life. But I also don't want to die in a pile of vomit. So I'm like, if I got to go, at least let me hold on to the vomit bag. That is, that is vanity at its best. Yo, your lady wake up and you dead in vomit. That's just... That's <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not the way. Where'd it go? It's, Mo, where'd it go? So, thank God, like, some of it stayed in the bag. Oh, oh, some of it. Some of it. Some of it. Some of it found its way onto the carpet, man. So now I'm like, what do I do now? Because I don't, I don't want to ask for help cleaning up. So I wake up the whole time. She's still asleep. I, I take what's in the bag to the bathroom. I grab as many napkins as I can. I asked if they had like some kind of Lysol wipes with them. She was like, yeah, but what do you need? I said, no, don't worry about it. I just, <laughs> I just need the wipes. I got this. Don't worry about it. And she's like, okay. So I take the wipes. I got to cleaning. I didn't want anybody to have to clean that up after me. So I did what I had to do. I wiped the floor down. Some of it got on my sneakers. I had to wipe that oh, off. Oh, that's no. the, as a sneakerhead, that's the biggest tragedy of yeah. this whole yeah. story. I had some good ones on too. I wasn't happy about it, but I, I I ended up cleaning it up to the point where you couldn't see it. It's gone. Like, yeah. you'll never know it happened. But can you smell it? Oh, you know I can. Oh, so every no. time the lady came over, it was like, do you guys need I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Please get away from us. I can't tell if her face changed or if it didn't because she smelled it. I couldn't tell. How much of the flight did you have left? About an hour and a half. Oh, oh no. Just bro. sitting in it. No. Just sitting in it. So when your lady wakes up, does she know anything happened at all? Or? I saw it, like, go over her face. I saw the moment. <laughs> And she woke up and looked at me, and she's like, hey. I'm like, hey. And then she makes this face like, do you smell that? Like, Absolutely not. <laughs> the Burt Show.